Hi there. Welcome to um another training. Uh, in this video, I will be showing you how to get your USDT wallet address and send it to someone if you uh if you want to receive um payment in USDT. So as you can see, this is my Binance. This is my Binance landing page. Okay. So um, if you want to receive USDT from someone, let's say um, you want someone to send USDT to you and you send the person um, Naira equivalent or you want someone to send USDT, maybe your company is paying you using USDT and they need your USDT wallet address. So this video is for you. All right. So um, I'll be making another video on how to go about this using your uh, your mobile phone that's using the Binance uh, mobile app so for this this is for those using their web browsers so the first thing first you click on you go to wallet click on wallet and you click on fiat and sports now uh, okay wait for it to load All right, so once uh, this has completely load, um, if you're a new person on this, uh, on Binance, your USDT, as you can see, my USDT is here because it has some funds on it. But if you're new, your USDT will be located down, down, down below because this um, assets here are listed alphabetically. So what you do, just click here and type USDT and you see it here. So if you want to receive USDT, you see you click on deposits. We have withdraw, we have buy and the rest, but you focus on deposit because you want to receive funds into your USDT uh, address. So once you click on deposit, you wait for it to load. So now um, we have different networks. So you see the first network we are seeing here is the ERC20. Now this is uh, using the Ethereum network and we have the TRC20. This is using the um, Tron network. Now most uh, OTC traders or uh, P2P traders make use of the TRC20 because the transaction fee is very low. Yes. Now you have the BEP20. This is using the Binance Smart Chain network. So this is the BEP20. Now, but for this video, I'll be focusing on BEP2. Now, BEP2 is mostly used if you're sending, um, if you're sending uh, your USDT from one Binance account to another Binance account. That's when this is mostly used, yeah, to the best of my knowledge. That's when this is mostly used. So if you're sending from one Binance account to another, you usually make use of BP2. So if the person you're receiving the funds from is sending from Binance account, the person might request that you give them their BP2 address. So now, here we go. So for BP2, you have the address and you have the memo. So these are the two things you'll be sending to uh, the person who intends sending the US to you. So first thing first, you copy the address and you let me send it to the person. Let me go to my uh my whatsapp and i'll be sending it to let's make use of musa so i'll be sending it to musa uh -huh. so i'll drop it here for him see the way i pasted it that's how you drop it then you go back to your binance and you copy the memo and you also drop it to the person yeah so with this you're good so the person will use this and uh you will use this to send the usdt to you all right i think with this we are done so you'll be expecting your usdt once the person sends it you receive it in your wallet thank you very much catch you later